Hey, uh, welcome back. Today we are talking about the last section in our chapter and it's simple interest. So simple interest, you need to know some definitions first. First of all, the principal, and I'm not talking about the principal of the school. The principal is the initial amount of money either you give a bank and they give you interest for putting it in the bank, or it's the amount of money that you borrow and then you have to pay interest based on how much you've borrowed. That's the principal. The interest is the amount of money the bank pays you over time or the amount of money you pay the bank over time depending on who borrowed the money. We call this the return. The interest rate is the percent of the return, 3%, 5%. And the simple interest, that's the interest earned on the principal and or the amount of interest that you had to pay depending on if you borrowed the money or if you gave someone else the money. So here's the formula for the interest. I equals PRT. I is the interest amount, P is the principal, R is the interest rate, and T is the time. And it's important to remember that that's in years. So if I give you this problem, $500 is deposited into an interest rate of 3% for three years. Find the simple interest. Step one formula. And notice what I plug in. $500 is the principal. That's the amount of money that I deposited. The rate is 3% or 0 0.03 as a decimal and then the time was three years. When I multiply these together I get 45. That means that I will earn $45 and the balance will be $545 after three years. And that's how you do it. You guys try. Notice it says nine months. We'll talk about what that means. All right, so let's plug in. Did you catch out that nine months was 0.75 of a year or three-fourths of a year? That's why I said make sure to notice that T is time in years, and they will try to mess with you with nine months. All right, so $500 times 0 0.03 times 0.75 ends up being $11.25. You don't earn as much money. However, you didn't have to leave the money there as long. So you put $1,000 into an account. The account earns $100 in simple interest in four years. Haha, ha, years. What is the annual interest rate? Well, here's our formula. And notice, it told us how much we earned, $100. We want to know what the rate is going to be. So we multiply 4 and 1,000 together and get 4,000, and we divide by 4,000. When we simplify, we end up getting 0 0.025. That's the rate. However, rate is a percentage, so we move the decimal two spots to the right, one, two, and we get 2.5% interest. So if you put $350 into an account, the account earns $17.50 in simple interest. In two and a half years, haha, ha, years, what is the annual interest rate? All right, I'm back. Did you get this far? When you multiply, you end up getting 875 when you divide, and you get 0 0.02. Turns out to be nice. With that said, rate that needs to be in interest, or excuse me, in percentage, so we get an interest rate of 2%. All right, next one. You put $100 into an account. The account earns $100 in simple interest with a 2% interest rate. How long is that going to take? So when we plug in, notice the only thing we don't know is how long, how many years it's going to take. So 800 times 0 0.02 gets you 16. 16 divided by 100 gets you 6.25. To earn that $100, an extra $100 on $800, it would take 6.25 years to earn that money. All right, try this one. It's our last one. Okay, I'm back. Did you put in right properly? With that said, we get 24, we divide by 24, and we get 4.17, which is 4.17 years. All right, I hope you guys got this. If you have any questions, please feel free to see me at school. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.